Hey, what's going on, guys and girls? I'm Colleague Phoenix here, and we're going to episode number 12 of my Chernobylite Let's Play series. What has this game got for us today? I am ready to continue the great rat catcher's work. Are you? No, not for you, I'm not. All right, nobody wants to talk. Oh. Igor, Igor, I've got to talk to you. Some serious shit is about to go down. What is it this time? One of the big fish is flying into Kapachi. We have a chance to intercept him. We have to act on this intel now. How did you come to find out about this fish of yours? I've got a lot of contacts here. You know that. I usually try to keep a low profile, but an opportunity like this may not present itself again for quite a while. Well, this could be useful. It is 100% worth a shot. Imagine what kind of intel we can squeeze out of this guy. Just go over there and check it out for yourself, okay? I know a good vantage point. All right. But let's make one thing clear first. I'll do the talking. I've got a feeling this big fish might not survive your squeezing. Sure, sure. Whatever you say, boss. I'll mark the location on your map. All right. So, let's see. Medicine drop. You've got a good chance of that. Supply drop. Uh, let's see. Supply drop best hope is... Either of you. Explore. Nothing significant is currently happening that you can still visit. Oh, okay, cool. And then me, I'm going there. Let's uh, go. Let's get into it. Nothing is ever as it seems with Mikhail, is it? What is he dragging you into this time? The NAR fish tank is a very murky and dirty place. Can you really tell the difference between a big fish and a bottom feeder when you meet them? Hmm. Me? Probably not. I'm sure other people can, though. Come on, load. I am ready for this. I'm ready for this. Let's see, it's literally kind of in the middle of the map. It looks like to me. What do we got around here? We got some Herbie Derbies to pick up. Anything? Doesn't really look like it, does it? Not a, not a whole lot of anything over here going on. Oh, great. Ow. Radioactivity, radioactivity, do 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 do. Thank you. I went to go push E to pick up, but that is not the pick up button. Oh, really? There's something mean in there now. Interesting, interesting. Oh, okay. I thought that was for sure going to be like Broken Legville. I'm in position. How is this a good vantage point? No tower? No hill? Uh, right. Uh, you all need a tower. There should be a control unit nearby. Find it and power it up. All right. There's a clue here. What the fuck? Found it. What is this thing? Mikhail, what are you not telling me? And where is this big fish? He'll be flying over in a helicopter pretty soon. All you need to do is fire up the missile defense system. The rest is automated. Pretty fucking awesome, right? It's old Soviet technology. I found it totally by chance. Don't tell me that's not a great fucking plan. What? You want me to shoot down a helicopter? Are you out of your goddamn mind? Au contraire, mon frère. It's the perfectly rational thing to do. Cut off as many of the Hydra's heads as you can! This is insane, Igor. You've no idea who's on board. I know we want to take down NAR, but blowing unidentified targets out of the sky is a war crime. 
This is fucking crazy. I am not going to shoot without knowing for certain who's on board that helicopter. It could be women and children for all we know. You've got to get your head straight, pal. Everyone here, everyone in that chopper, they're all NAR volunteers. Every one of them deserves to die for what they did to me and my friends. I don't know what you're talking about, and I'm not going to do it. Hopefully that was the right decision. It's over, Mikhail. You couldn't pull the trigger, huh? I knew it. Don't send a fucking pussy to do it. Oh, fuck! Accept it and move on. That's not how we do things around here. You think you can tell me how we do things? My best buddies were slaughtered by these assholes. They tortured us. They clamped electrodes on my fucking nipples. Can you imagine what that's like, huh? Calm down, Mikhail. I want to get them as much as you, but not like this. I'm not going to fucking calm down. You robbed me of my revenge. You think you're something special, fucking egghead. Really, you're just a common thief. You are a major fucking disappointment, Igor. Great. Well, that none pissed Mikhail off. He hates me now. York status with Mikael got worse. York's current status is bad. Oh, these fences. Alright, well, that's fantastic. Hopefully, that wasn't somebody that we, like, needed to take out, I guess. Like, it won't end up being a big mistake to have not shot it down. Like, Olivier could take the, uh, the, the hit in terms of, like, his... You know. What the fuck? Who the fuck are you? Stop right there. You're on Pripyat Bradfa term now. I'm... What? Where? Bradfa. Pripyat Bradfa. You must be new here, huh? A tourist? What's your name? Um... Oh, hardly. I moved here in 1985. The name's Igor. It was quite a different place back then. 1985, that's, um... Three, uh... Five, mm, Oh, more than ten years ago. You know what that means, Igor? <laughs> You're one of us. Pribby and Bradford. And Pribby and Bradford rules. Really? How many of you are in this... Bradford? Um... There were many of us not so long ago, but it's just me now. I'm the boss. And you, you can be my right-hand man. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. So what happened to the rest of your pals? Uh, let me think. Sasha was arrested. Grisha was shot dead. Oleg fell down some stairs. Vova drowned in the river. And Aloysia was eaten by a crocodile. But, but there are no crocodiles in Pripyat. No, not a real crocodile. A crocodile. The drug. Uh, you mean decimorphine? No, I've heard about that stuff. It's basically poison. You should keep your guys away from it. What guys? I told you it's just me now. Evgeny is all that's left. And uh, you, of course. My second in command. We should celebrate with a drink, but the NIR confiscated my moonshine. But now guys off his head. Pribyat Bradford will rebuild. And we'll hit those NAR bastards hard. They'll never see it coming. You mentioned something about what kind of thing. I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? Ah, I saw I never opened them, so I don't know what's in them. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Each box is totally random. Ah, my loot boxes are like a. Bo <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get. Ksenia told me I was the biggest facade GR in our neighborhood. It's very simple: one food ration for one box of loot. One box a day. Igor, we just met, but I feel like I've known you for years. You're like a brother to me now. Have a free box of loot. On me. But don't tell anyone. It's a secret. A Bradfa secret. I better be going now. Bradfa forever, Igor. This dude is insane. What the frick? There's a bunch of revolver ammo. More shit that I don't want to hold on to, really. Dude's crazy, bro. He's absolutely insane. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, fuck. There is an AR here. All right. Boy, time to leave.
I think we are starting to get very close to heist time. Um, I think we probably want to be able to do the girl in the red dress uh, simulation. I think that's the only one we haven't done. And once we've done that, I feel like we should be good. What oh, the here hell we go. was that? I don't have time for cowards and pussies, which is what you are. Piss off. I know we have our differences, but you really ought to stay. I need you here. Damn right you do. Don't you ever forget that. Okay, good. He's staying here. Even though I think he's fucking insane. You failed, Sashko. Oh, God. Alright, well, you know what we can do? We can just have nothing because we can kill ourselves if we have to. I'm pretty sure that's an acceptable thing. Yeah, okay. So we lost a lot of psych. That's fine. We can even, like... Literally, we've got a few bottles of this. We can just do this for now. Who cares? Alright, do we have enough to run that simulation? Oh, we're missing a fact. God, of course we are. Of course we're missing a fact. All right, screw it. Let's... Uh, so we got six potential slots left that we could get if we want to. I'm also going to do this. And this. And this. And this. And this. And this. Thank you. Thank you for the loot box of random shit that I turned into more shit. Is very good for me, I'm glad. Uh, so... Alright, uh... Either old timer, what's cooking? Mm, nothing much. I need to remember to check the dosimeters. Ain't radiation a stone cold bitch? That raggedy ass old man. The other one, I mean, was rambling about it not too long ago. Uh, about what? About Pripyat being contaminated in before the Chernobyl disaster. You're a scientist. Is there any truth to it? Tarakan may not be the most reliable source of information in the zone, but in this case, he might be right. Explain. For starters, the choice of Pripyat as a location for a nuclear power plant was a mistake. Was it? It's fairly secluded. Nothing but woods and swamps. Perfect spot to keep things secret. Swamps. Exactly. Swampland is very poor in certain minerals and elements. Same goes for the vegetation in this whole area. Because of this, the local plants absorb pretty much everything very quickly. Even if it's poisonous, like, for example, the radioactive isotope of iodine. Also, both the Soviet Union and some NATO countries have been testing nuclear weapons like crazy since the 50s, pushing millions of tons of radioactive fallout into the atmosphere. Right. I watched something about that on YouTube. Castle Bravo, Tsar Bomber, serious shit. And it only intensified leading up to 1963. The nuclear players wanted to conduct as many tests as possible before the PTBT came into effect. PTBT? The Partial Test Ban Treaty an agreement between the USSR and the West that nuclear testing should be conducted underground only. But hundreds of nuclear explosions had already polluted the atmosphere all over the world, including over Chernobyl. If someone had bothered to take a Geiger reading of the marshes around Pripyat before building the power plant, they'd have found out it was already irradiated. Unfucking believable All right, cool. Hey, about I can show you. Uh, run much faster and land safely from any height. Actually, uh, we could get the shotgun one. That might not be a bad idea. Um, we got six years. Where's Where's Olga? Where's my girl at? Where's my girl Olga at? Wait, what? Alright, Tarakin's down here like a fucking nutbag, as always. Olivier's there. Probably should make another one of these, maybe. Uh, 
Uh, where is... Where's Olga at, bro? Where's she hanging out at? Is she not here for some reason? What? Tools acquired, one of five. What tools am I supposed to have for this heist? Alright, let's continue onwards. I still don't know where Olga is, though. I'm very confusion where she's hiding. Yeah, she's just not here, right? Unless she's up here. What the frick? Oh, she's there. No. No. Do you have a second, Igor? Sure. Sure, what's going on? I've been thinking about my family and my childhood in Minsk. My mom relocated to Pripyat after my father died of cancer. Wasn't she afraid to bring you here? You must have been a teenager then. Oh yeah, I was a teenager all right. A smart ass little rebel in combat boots and goth makeup. My mom wanted to leave me behind with relatives, but I wasn't having it. You were brave. I was a goddamn stubborn lippy kid. That's who I was. My mom, on the other hand, she was a loving and caring soul. She thought of only others, never about herself. She came to the zone to help, and I followed. But now that she's gone, I'm starting to question my own reasons for being here. Sorry, I, I don't usually get sentimental like this. That's okay. Sometimes we spend so long chasing something, we forget while we're chasing it in the first place. You're right. Maybe it's time for me to sit down and give it all a hard think. You should do the same. Nah, I'm good, brother. Uh... Maybe? Maybe not a bad idea. Fantastic. No jokes while we're training or I'll smack Or I'll smack you upside the head. Got it? Yes, ma'am. No problem. Okay, Igor, let me introduce you to your The AK-47. Some countries even put it on their flag. Because it played such a big role in claiming their independence. But enough history. I'll give you some pointers to help you understand the weapon's full potential. The biggest challenge is compensating for recoil and automatic firing mode. You must learn to control it. Don't worry, the cans won't shoot back. Do your worst. Or best. Ready? Commence firing. Well, you need to work on your aim, and your stance, and proper grip. But you'll have many opportunities to practice. Okay, Professor. I think you've learned the basics. I mean, I did okay. It wasn't amazing. Whoa! Just gives me, like, well, that control. Are, but don't get cocky. You still need practice. Lots of practice. What can I do for you, Professor? You got anything oh, else? God. Perfect control. Oh. I wouldn't mind the extra health. Maybe. Actually. Ah, uh, we'll have a think about that one. Okay, so we can just self annihilate ourselves. And then we'll be all good. <clears throat> Igor, it's not the end. I won't it end I won't it let it end, end like, like this. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I got you, I got you, I know. You won't it let it end like that, Tatiana. Thank you. I appreciate it. I am very appreciative. Man, there's a few yellows, huh? Terracon asked you to burn all of his notes. You did You gave up the chance to find out more information about me. No no no. While searching Terracon's hideout, you, you considered rearming the no, I don't want to rearm the traps. There seems to be just one missing here, right at the start. These events have not happened yet. Which is interesting. Oh, I deleted the data. Yeah. So this one's a yellow one as well. He told you where to find the plans for the power plant. I surrendered. Olga supported you that decision. You believe. I believed in his bullshit explanation. I'm pretty sure it was bullshit. I know I didn't have to run to the end. I could have gone just through the portal at the, the start, which would have popped me out here. So, like, you can just do this. Um, you can just do this to bring your psych and your health back to 100%. If you want to, every night, you could just literally go and do whatever other things you need to do and then just self-annihilate yourself. 
and then uh, you'll have full psych and full health again. Which is nice, see? All, all cured. So we still need to find a fact for this one. Alright. It's got to be a, a mission that, like, helps with that. No radio. Oh, Get God. Huh? Shoot. I know how to make small shape charges. Perfect for demolition locks. Right. I can see that coming in handy. But first, I need you to pick up the plastic left over from the Dugar Raider operation. Did I not do this or agree with Sounds this? Like it's worth I'm a prep. Can I build my first? How did <laughs> Ready to go? Sure. I'll mark the building. I'm almost positive I... Wow. Oh. It's great to see you, Igor. I've got a fan-fucking-spastic plan that you need to hear. <laughs> yeah, right, of course. Sounds fan fucking exciting. Stop bitching and be grateful there's someone here to do the thinking when you're not around. Anyway, listen up. I think the time has come to kill off the biggest knobber of them all. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Who's on your shit list today? Drum roll, please. Da -la 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 -la. General Kozlov, the single biggest NAR twat of them all. Time to end his miserable life. Pay back for what he did to my friends. And for his other shameful deeds, of course. Can't forget that. <laughs> You've got friends? That's new. Yeah, very funny. This fucker and his cronies iced my boys. Don't you ever joke about that. You fucking hear me? His lapdogs captured us. Tortured us. I got lucky. They just beat the ever-loving shit out of me and left me to die. What happened? You never wanted to talk about it before. Having electrodes clipped to your dong is not something you want to relive with casual acquaintances. The five of us set up this warehouse together. It was me, Zena, Yuri, Ludmila, and Igor. Like yourself. We were the fucking Pripyat Five. Respected businessmen. Men and women. We provided, uh, essential goods and services for those who needed them. When NAR showed up, we tried to negotiate with them, but to this decrepit 20th century Kami Kozlov, we were just a bunch of hippie anarchists and drug dealers. Anyway, a perfect opportunity to exact revenge on this cocksucker's approaching. He's gonna give some kind of motivational speech to his private army of knobbers outside in Lenin Square. This sounds like a real opportunity. Taking Kosov out is the only way to stop him from interfering with our plans. And to make him pay for his crimes, obviously. As much as I admire clean work, shooting him like a lame deer would be a mistake. We should make him talk first, learn everything we can so we can better prepare for our heist. Passwords, codes, guard routines. After we have what we need, then we off him. We are going to pull the Rat King's teeth one by one. Kozlov is one of his shiniest fangs and sharpest. But we should question him first. Killing him straight away would waste all the work we put into exposing his big plans and the end of the world and all that. I agree on one point. Kozlov must die. But we don't have time for fun and games. Just dispose of him quickly and get out. Maybe he does deserve to suffer. And perhaps he has some intel we could use. But the only way to make sure he can't interfere is to kill him right away. That's what I recommend. Attempt to kidnap Kozlov. We need Kozlov alive. I'm open to suggestions. I can definitely help with that. The actual camp is located in Energetic, the former palace of Kocha. There are two ways in. The main entrance is probably guarded, of course. But they only post two guards at the side door. You know the place, right? Yeah. I lived here a long time ago. But... Some of the details are fuzzy. It's not complicated. Those NAR fuckers just walked in and make themselves at home. The front entrance is a no-go, but the side door will be a breeze. The guard detail is very light. Insultingly so. And that's where you come in, or go in, or whatever. Kaslov's digs are on the top floor. Once you get inside, it shouldn't be hard for a man of your talents to slip past the guards. Security is a bit of a joke, like every fascist you ever met. They got cocky. They're not expecting anyone to snoop around. And remember, most of them will be distracted by Kozlov's speech. Maybe he'll even put them to sleep for us. This is a great opportunity, Mousy. The Rat King's minion will be vulnerable, alone, just waiting for you. 
The time has come to instill the fear of the great rat catcher in their black and shriveled hearts. Okay. I'm ready to talk to Kosov. I guess that's what we're doing today. Uh Pripyat Central. This is no ordinary mission. It's more like trying to abduct a dragon from his own den. Head of NAR security is hiding in the Palace of Culture called Energetic. Kozov is a source of many useful information, so we need him alive. Okay. Uh, Olivier can do that. Uh, food supply run. Yep, and I'm going to do this, and we're going to just go for it. And fucking hope that this isn't a 45 minute Kozlov, mission. The most hated man in the zone. He's ruthless, but hardly a mastermind. Despite his civilized appearance, he may just be a mad dog unleashed by the NAR. Still, you could probably learn a lot from him. He could be your ticket into the power plant. Could he now? Interesting. He could be my ticket into the power plant. All right. Day 22. Feeling good. Let's go. Bad news, Igor. What's going on? Kozlov is about to leave the NAR encampment. Very convenient timing, isn't it? Convenient indeed. So, change of plans? Go to Hotel Policia. Top floor. You'll have a great vantage point from up there. It will allow you to pinpoint Kozlov. Sounds good. Excellent. We should pursue this plan. This will bring us closer to defeating the Rat King. You're one psycho geezer, Terracan. But I like you because you love to stir shit up. Working with you is a real pleasure. You may be far from divine enlightenment, Sashko. But your heart is in the right place. Someone's telling them. Someone's a rat. Because how is he conveniently moving right now? <clears throat> Seems sus to me, dude. Alright, we got a few boys around here, don't we? All work and no play makes Vladimir a dull boy. Yeah. Is that so? Oh, you're heavy armor, aren't you? I can't even... Oh, God. Maybe I'm okay. Maybe I'm okay. Maybe I'm okay. Nope. Not okay. I respond with not okay. Great. Alright. We're dodging. We're dodging. We're dodging. We're dodging. Ow. Fuck. shit. What? Okay, it wouldn't let me pick that up. Ah, oh, okay, I remember this place. Yeah, 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 because there's an elevator. You can't do this while in danger. Lose or kill your opponents first. I 
can't see them. The ones down there searching for me to even pop them in the head. I guess we're just gonna have to wait this one out, huh? So it seems like to me much we can do about that. Might as well just like loot up while we're here. Holy crap. You go up a few floors, huh? You really do go up a few floors. It's never gonna find me anyway. As long as I'm careful about it. They shouldn't spot me again. Ah, almost. Done on the search time. Oh! Ah, oh, fuck this! Fuck this. Oh my god. I'm just gonna fucking kill them. I'm not waiting any longer. Who else shooting at me? Come on. Fuck, show yourself so we can finish this off. You. Who else? Who else is pissed at me? I don't want to stand around forever. Waiting for this shit. Are you looking for me though? God's sake. Why is the search timer? Okay. Let's just go up here. We're just gonna sit up here and wait out the timer. It's very, very annoying though. But he happened to spot me. Alright. Now we've got a bit of a problem. We've got a Chernobylite storm. We've been in here long enough for that to happen. Which is not ideal, and when I push the... There we go. Yeah, Chernobylite Storm is not ideal at all. I'm on the top floor, and I found some binoculars. Good. Luck famous bold mouses like yourself. I see him. General Koslov in the flesh. The chief rat. Now listen closely, mousey. His living quarters are in the building on your right. Top floor. The time for action is now. Gather your courage and go, Mousy. Uh, what about a little help? Perhaps some kind of diversion? Yes. Luring the other predators away is always a good idea. Use the generator to power up the ferris wheel. Its lights will attract them like moths. Like moths? That might work for a minute or two, but it will last. Do you have a better idea? I might. Shut down the generator instead, and they'll be blind. Then you'll have no problem sneaking past the guards and getting to your target. Okay. Alrighty. Here we go. All work and no play makes me a dull boy. Let's go. Uh, I guess we're going to go out in the front here. Can we go out and around? Doesn't look like that's going to be much of an option. Like I said, not a big fan of a Chernobylite storm. Ouch. A lot of guards here too. Go quick, duck down. Go quick, duck down. Alright, we're gonna get to this Jenny.
Fuck. Okay, he's just standing there, which means ho hopefully he'll move. Walk away. Is this leading me to the generator or to Kozlov? I think this might be leading me to Kozlov, which is not a... Oh, fuck. Get him taken out. Dude, the gun always freaks out now. Alright, there was... I swear there was an elevator somewhere to get up top. Or some other alternative route to get up there. And go through here. What does this do for me? Didn't really ever go back here, I don't think. Like we've gotten that clue before. Ah, oh, there they are, the stairs. This is what I was looking for, baby. Revolver there, which I don't need. All right. Now I know. Oh, I think the generator's in here. Which means there's two guards out here, I believe. One up top, one down low. Okay, they're both just down low right now. This one behind me might see me. If I don't hurry up and choke him out. Holy shit. Uh, well, he's going to be alerted to something. Maybe. Or is he just going to walk back? Going to turn around and walk back the other way, buddy? Yep. Good. Very, very good. That's what we were looking for. Okay, I'm at the generator. So, where are we going? Man, they already put Chernobylite straight through here, huh? Like, straight up. What's all the commotion? 
Don't even think about reaching for that sidearm, General Kozlov. This conversation is not going to go the way you think. Really? And here I thought you were a civilized man, a gentleman and a scholar. Was I wrong? Regardless, my men are waiting outside the building. You're trapped. I will be very interested to see how you handle this situation. Come on. He's just trying to weasel his way out of it. Kill him now. Don't let him get in your head. I'm sorry, General. I'm not that kind of person. But you leave me no choice. Wait. You're making a huge mistake. I can tell you a great many things. Useful information. He's full of shit. Just you want to know about Tatiana, right? Then you found the right man. Let's talk. Okay. I'll bite. But you better have answers. Alright. Did you think I would be impressed? I've seen these things before. Don't make your situation any worse than it already is. Move. Ah, uh, Mikhail will not like this. Uh, what the fuck do you want me to do, bro? I'm trying, man. Oh, God, what is this? So, this is what it looks like from the inside. Surprised? I guess you're not all knowing after all. Let's say terrorist hideouts are not my department. But I know everything I need to know. Is this a family meeting? What a pity. I thought we were going to talk man to man, Professor Kaminiuk. What the fuck? Why did you bring this asshole here? You were supposed to punish him for what he did, and then leave his corpse as an example. My poor fellow. I suppose you expect me to acknowledge you and apologize for something I've done. Sadly, I am forced to disappoint you. I have no idea who you are, nor do I care. I don't like this one bit. Let's put an end to this, and fast. You should be careful with that one, Kaminiuk. Women are often far more cruel than men. I've seen her kind in... Well, it hardly matters. What about you, old man? Still chasing ghosts? Did you ever find your mysterious Rat King? Perhaps you should have stayed in the institution. At least they kept you properly fed. Sashko Horovitz. I admire your craft, but there's nothing I can do for you. Or your brother. We'll see about that. Are we done with introductions? Let's get to it then. You seem to be the most reasonable of this gang of colorful misfits. I was hoping you and I could have a civilized conversation. I know exactly what you're doing. It isn't particularly clever or original, and it's not going to work. What am I doing? I am a professional who happens to be on the other side of the fence. Just a man trying to do his job. I have a nephew that I very much want to see. So, go ahead and ask your questions. When you're satisfied, I'm sure we can come to some kind of arrangement. Your nephew? Tell me about him. He's ten years old. He's from Magnitogorsk, like his father and me. And he's the smartest kid I know. I don't believe for one moment that you could harm him. It simply isn't your style, Professor. Besides, you don't even know where he is. Do not assume to know me, Koslov. That would be a mistake. Okay. Tell me about the experiments. What is Semenov doing in the lab? I wish I could tell you. But as with tracking down trespassers, that is not my department. My task was to ensure Semenov could work undisturbed. You lie. I've seen everything. I've even studied Chernobylite myself. How can you claim to know nothing about it? I know about its applications, yes. I know that it can act as an unlimited energy source. That it can be used in transportation, medicine and can even be weaponized. But I don't know any details about its implementation. I'm not a scientist, just an old soldier. Yes, I suppose that's true. Look, I'm not a personal friend of Semenov. His findings may be profound, but at what cost? Remember, it was Semenov who botched the experiment that released the shadows into this world. Can you guess how many people I've lost fighting those things? Don't ask me where these creatures came from, because I have no idea. From a nightmare, perhaps. Semenov has a god complex. He believes he can advance the human race. A bold claim. Especially in this part of the world, no? We lived in the shadow of people who wanted to turn us simple bread eaters into angels for almost the entire century. But I've been around. I've seen things. 
so you can understand why I'm skeptical when I hear such claims. Semenov may be the brain, but he isn't responsible for the atrocities in the zone. That's your doing. Hmm. You seem like a smart fellow, Kaminyuk. Why would you buy into this nonsense? What do you mean? Whatever Semenov told you, he is the real puppet master. He has great influence over the board. The board? The big money people in the tailored Italian suits. The people who make money by making money. Semenov convinced the board he's going to transform NAR into a trillion dollar business. To them, he's like an investment banker messiah. Semenov isn't rounding people up and torturing them, filling mass graves with civilian corpses. That's you. Well, naturally, you'll get a distorted view of what's going on when you only hear one side of the story. Uh-huh. What's your side of the story, then? This is a war zone. I am responsible for keeping my men safe and doing my job. Some collateral damage is unavoidable in any conflict. But trust me when I say I've already had a bellyful of civilian misery. I do my absolute best to keep their suffering to a minimum. I'm only really interested in one thing. Where is Tatiana? That ghost you're chasing. That pretty dream. I don't know what to tell you. You're the head of security. Am I to believe you're not privy to everything that goes on at the power plant? Professor Kaminiuk, listen. I am here to earn a little extra money so I can retire someplace nice and send my nephew to an Ivy League university. I have zero interest in anything that doesn't directly concern my men and my job. You don't tell me. I swear. I cannot tell you what I do not know, Professor. Semenov is the authority in this area. Talk to him if you want to know more about the experiments or this Tatiana girl. How do I enter the power plant? You're placing me in a very awkward position. You want me to divulge information that may lead to casualties among my men and the civilian staff. <laughs> You've got a real nerve talking to me about civilian casualties. I can't believe you would try that again. What is the password and response for accessing the power plant? Don't be stupid. You and your merry band of trumps will never make it out of the power plant alive. I don't care. Do you know where we are, right now? No. I don't understand it, this place. But let's skip the guessing game, and you just tell me. We are currently in the tunnel between two singularities. It's like a black hole, only smaller. This tunnel is a shortcut through time and space. Marvelous, isn't it? But to use it, you need to know how to enter and how to leave. Ah, I see where this is going. Do you? I don't have to kill you. I can simply leave you here. But don't count on dying anytime soon. Time dilation will ensure that you don't. You will never see your nephew again. But perhaps I will release you to attend his funeral when he's died of old age. I can see that your companion's cruel nature is beginning to rub off on you. Very well. Are you ready to cooperate now? If you lie to me, I will return and it won't go well for you. The call is... We quell the storm, the response, and ride the thunder. Thank you. I'm glad we had this chance to talk. What to do with you now, eh? It's too dangerous to let him live. I believe we already agreed on that. I want to ask him about wrestling fast. He's mine. I want him to experience a slow descent into hell. Fucker! He's just a tool of the Rat King. He told you everything of value already. Do not let this rodent roam free. He can still do great damage to our cause, more even than before. Um, can go. I chose to Thank let you. him live. I knew you were a reasonable man, an honourable man. They're all gonna hate me. You have to leave NAR, disappear, and never return. Otherwise, you and I will have another conversation. And it won't be a light-hearted chat next time. All I care about is my nephew. I swear that you will never see me again. Oh, they're gonna all hate me so much. But I think it's the right call. I think. I hope. Oh, fuck. Mikhail's gonna be like, You rat bastard! I'm gonna fucking kill you! 
and Olga's gonna be like, we should have murdered him. He's a fucking piece of shit. Man. And then the, uh, the Tarakin's gonna be like, oh, Mousy, I'm very disappointed in you. You had a chance to fucking end this. Three and three. Oh, fuck yeah. Um, so I'm gonna do this, this, this. It doesn't matter if my sight goes down. Whoa. Alright, I didn't say they didn't like it though, which is good. Very good. Just gonna quickly check this. Oh, we need one more fact. Son of a bitch. Alright, let's uh, end it all quickly. Get that all sorted out. Ah! I just banged my knee on my fucking desk. Oh, so there's like metal bars that run along the bottom of the desk as its support pieces. If gameplay, if the gameplay is too demanding, you can change the difficulty level of every aspect of the game. Why? I didn't die because I died. I died because I wanted to die. All right. Well, I'm glad that Mikael had nothing to say. Thank God. That would have been a bit of fun, wouldn't it? How are we on day 22? Were we not just on day 22? What? I'm so confused. It's like day 22 didn't even happen, isn't it? Igor, I need to tell you something. Remember when you asked me why the lurkers stay away from our village? I wasn't entirely honest with you. All right. I don't know exactly how it works, but Mave has a way of keeping these creatures at a distance. He has this strange powder. He calls it dust, but it's secret. Only a handful of people even know it exists. Dust? Why are you telling me about this? Because I can see you for what you are now. And what's that? A forthright and honorable man. Maybe a little awkward in social situations. Anyway, it'll help us in your heist. You should get your hands on some as soon as possible. Okay. Well, if it works, there must be something to it. I should definitely look into it. You should. Okay. I'll check it out first chance I get. Alright, we're gonna walk forward. Oh, here we go. Shoot. I know how to make small. Oh, yes, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Because I, I didn't do it, it's gonna keep asking me. Thank fuck you didn't ask me anything. Hardware for real men. Yep. And then there's the Black Stalker. Um, we should do that one next episode. So anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Chernobylite in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace.